Okay, so forming the quark gluon plasma. <clears throat> so there's different ways. So we don't directly detect the quark gluon plasma. So you could be asking, how do we even know that it's there? And there's a number of different ways that we can make sure we form it. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about one of those ways, which is that we estimate the energy density. And <clears throat> this is to some extent um, a back of the envelope calculation. Um, but what you do is that you assume that you have two incoming, so you have two incoming nuclei and the system is, and each of them is moving roughly at the speed of light. So um, if you want to estimate the volume of this system, it is roughly the time that it takes to form the quark gluon plasma times <coughs> the um, times the speed of light. And then <coughs> when you have your incoming nuclei, they don't overlap exactly. So you have some <coughs> you have some overlap region. And um, you can estimate the cross-sectional area, so the overlap between the nuclei. And that gives you an estimate of the volume. And then you can basically look at how much energy what is going um, transverse to the beam because anything coming along the beam was not created in the collision. Anything going, um, anything, you know, the equivalent of momentum but pointing perpendicular to the beam is created in the collision. And that is something called the transverse energy. <coughs> and then you take the energy divided by the volume and it gets you an energy density. And then we think that the energy densities that you have to get are at least half a GeV per Fermi cube to form a quark gluon plasma. And I think. Um, this is a little bit out, this plot's a little bit outdated, I should update it, but I haven't. But you know, if you look at the, for the Large Hadron Collider, this is as a function of something called centrality. So as you move from glancing collisions to more and more head-on, more and more violent collisions, um, what you see in the blue dashed line is the amount of, roughly the amount of energy it takes to form a quark law and plasma. What you see in the red dashed line is where the relativistic heavy ion collider and the points are estimates from the Large Hadron Collider. And I'm using the term estimates because um, it is dependent on an assumption of the area. And on that. Um, so what you see is that basically this threshold energy we have to get, we blow it out of the water. We are so much higher, the energy density is so much higher that um, at the Large Hadron Collider and at top Rick energies, there's no question. We get the energy densities required. Um, and yeah. Then um, 